Next, review the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. Well, we got base times height again in here. There's another activity that we can do for the triangle, but uh, we don't have time right now. So one half times B times H, where B is your base. <laughs> that was a funny sneeze. And H is your height. Okay, so just like the tri or just like the rectangle, just like the parallelogram, your height and your base are going to be perpendicular. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that in here. Remember, the base and the height must be perpendicular. So here's our first example. Find the area of a triangle at the base of 14. See, here's a triangle. Base is 14. So I'll put 14 right here. And the height is 5. Wait, right? Height of 5, yeah. So this can be a triangle. Okay, you could also be weird. Uh, if you wanted to, you can make this the 14, and then you'd have to draw the height like this, and make a right angle right there, and make that 5. So that would work too. I mean, it's going to be the same thing, just the base is in a different spot. So then we go, um, the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. And so what is our base right now? 14. 14. And plus, I like to put the number that's even next to my 1 half. And I'm multiplying that times 5. Uh, and this is why. 1 half times 14, what's that? So what's half of 14? 7 times 5. Okay, what do we get from that? 35. Yep. Okay, 35 what? Uh, centimeters squared. Next. Okay, the area of a triangle is 32. Ooh, this is interesting. It gave us the area. The area of a triangle is 32. Um, what is the height if the base measures 8? So we have the 8 as our base, and we don't know the height. Um, there's different ways to do this. Some of you guys will do this part in your head. Like, you'll just multiply 32 by 2, then you'll divide it by 8, and you'll get uh, 4. No. You just divide it by 8. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can do it that way. Or, um, I mean, with these formula type problems, uh, these area problems, they're formula type problems, you could write out the formula and plug in what you know. So here's our formula to find the area of a triangle. Do we know what the area of this triangle is? Yeah. Yes, it's 32. So we plug in 32 right there. The one half stays the same. Do we know what the base is? Yeah, we do. It's right there. It's 8. So I put 8 right there, and we don't know what the H is. And so now, you just have to simplify and solve for H. Sometimes algebra is so nice and convenient. All right, what's 1 half times 8? 4. Oops, I did something wrong earlier when I was talking. That's okay, this one's correct. Uh, then I had to divide both sides by 4, and what do I get? 8. 8. Well, that's kind of weird. The base and the height are the same measure. So there you have it. H equals 8. All right, here's two other examples. Um, for this one, we have to graph it first. And this one's another triangle problem. OK, so I'm going to give you guys time right now. Graph these points and find the area of it. OK, after you graph your points, you can see the rectangle. You connect them like that. And now I have to find the area of it. There's nothing really tricky about this. I'm not trying to trick you here. What's the length of this side right here? You just have to count. One, two, three, right? So is it three? And what's the, what's the height? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. So our height is five, the base is three. Um, now to find the area, we just have to multiply the two. So we're going to go five times three, which will give us 15. Um, now we're going to say units squared. Because it doesn't give us a unit of measure. And because we're on the coordinate plane, I mean, each box is a unit. All right, the next one here says that the area of a triangle, so we have a triangle again, is 48 inches squared, and its height is 8 inches. Okay. Um, what is the length of its base? This is kind of the same as the other problem we just did. The area of a triangle is 1 half times base times the height, and we know what the area is. It's 48 it's one half times the base, which we don't know, times the height, which we do know. Now you can change the order um, that you multiply these. So you can put the one half and the eight next to each other, which would give you four. 
So we have 4b equals 48. Wow, this is almost exactly like our last problem, uh, two problems ago. Now we divide by 4, divide by 4, b equals 12. That, is that what the question asks, just what yeah. the base is? Oh, 12 inches. All right, we're done with that one.